Hey guys, welcome to day four of Me Time GDN. I'm Emma, and today I'm going to be taking you through a build workout that's going to be focused on posture and balance. So let's get to it. To begin, we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. So standing nice and tall, feet shoulder width apart, we're going to stretch up and stretch down. We're going to see if we can get all the way down to the ground with this extension and flexion. Really just going to loosen up the muscles, getting ready for our main work. Really reach up, use your core to pull you down and see if you can get a little bit lower every time. A few more seconds left. One more, up and down. Right, from here we're going to go into a squat hamstring stretch. So we all get down into a squat, hold our toes and then stretch up. Make sure our legs are nice and straight to get a good stretch to our hamstrings and then back down into the squat. Back up. And then down. And you feel the stretch right down your hamstrings, down the back of your legs. Try and get really deep into that squat. And then stretch up. One more down. And up. Okay, from here we're going to go down into a squat. And we're going to focus on a thoracic rotation. So we're going to see if we can stretch up through the top part of our spine. Get a nice good twist. Few more. Good, right, we're going to go straight back into that extension and flexion. So again, standing nice and tall, reach up and see if we can now touch the floor or our toes. Try and get as low as possible without bending the knees. So we want this movement to be through our hips. Big stretch up, stretch the core, use it to pull yourself down. One more up. Good, and then from here we're going to go back into our squat hamstring. So squat down, nice deep squat, and then stretch your hamstring. Back down into a squat, and then back up. Just trying to get those legs as straight as you can. Back up. Last one down. Good, and then from here, into our thoracic stretch to so keep the deep squat, twisting up through the top part of our spine, our thoracic part, all the way up. Try to keep that balance in the low squat. One more on each side. Last one up. Excellent. Now that our body is nice and warm, we're going to move on into the first set of work. This is going to be three exercises back to back each of them being 45 seconds with 15 seconds in between to change over into the next exercise. For this set you will need a step of some sort because we're going to be doing reverse lunges, burpee step and then mountain pipe. So three exercises back to back and we'll have a minute rest in between. Right so we're going to get started into our main set. The first move is alternating reverse lunges. Three, two, one. So step back, making sure that we keep our chest nice and proud, our core nice and tight. That's really going to help us keep our balance, and we want to get that back knee as low as possible. Good. You use your arms for balance if you want, making sure we keep our core nice and tight. We're over 20 seconds now, so we've only got a few seconds left. Remember, we've got to do this move for 45 seconds. So we really got to. Get our legs going. Good, nearly there, keep going. Got about 10 seconds left. Make sure we're getting that lower leg as far down as possible without going too far of our toes. Three, two, one, good. Grab your step and get ready because we've only got 15 seconds before we go into our burpee steps. So we'll start in three, two, one. So hands down, both your back, step up onto the step. Make sure every time you step up, you're alternating your feet up and down. So when you go into that burpee, you're gonna shoot your legs back, keep your core nice and tight, up and down. Good, keep going. 
halfway, about halfway. Make sure we keep that core nice and tight. And down before we come back. 10 seconds left. Good. Five. Three, one more. Two. And one. Right. Move your step out of the way. Because we've got our final move of this set, which is massive climbing. We start in five seconds. Whew. Get down to that high plank. Three, two, one. Pump your knees up. Use your core. Making sure your hips are low. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders in line. Drive your knees up as much as you can. Really get the movement through your core. Good. We have a halfway. Nearly there, guys. 15 seconds left. 10. Keep driving those knees up for the last five seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. Take your one minute rest, grab a bit of water, and then we'll repeat that set. We've got that two more times. Right guys, our one minute rest is coming up to an end. So we're gonna get ready for the second part of our first round. So again, it's alternating reverse lunges, burpee step ups and mountain climbers. So now that we know the moves, we're gonna make sure the changes are a little bit quicker so we really get the most out of this workout. Take a second, take a second, and then jump back in. Form 
is everything. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Right, guys. Grab yourself a drink of water. Have your one minute rest. And then we'll repeat that set for the last time. Alright guys, this is it. This is the last set of the first round. So we're really going to get into it, get going, and really push through this last round. So we'll start in three, two, one. So alternating lunges. Your legs should be on fire now. Good. A good step back, making sure our core is nice and strong. It's going to help us really keep our balance. Drop that leg as low as you can. And make sure we're driving up through the heel of the leading leg. Good guys, keep going. I know your legs are sore. And we'll push through. I'll be worth it in the end. Good, last 10 seconds. Keep going. Five left. Three, two, one. Right, 15 seconds, grab your step. Excellent, so we're going to start our burpee step ups in five seconds. Ready, three, two, one. Down, shoot back. Remember the alternating legs. This is your last set, so you're really going to push. Don't give up. Good guys, keep going. Core nice and tight as you shoot the legs back. Good guys, keep going. Nearly there. So you've got about 15 seconds left. It's only 15 seconds. Can't give up now. Alternate those legs up the step. 10 seconds left. Five. Three, two, one more. And one. Right, move your step out of the way because we've got our final move of this set, which is mountain climbing. We'll start in five seconds. Whew. Get down to that high plank. Three, two, one. Pump your knees up, using your core, making sure your hips are low. Wrists, elbows and shoulders in line. Drive your knees up as much as you can. Really get the movement through your core. Good. We over halfway. <sighs> Nearly there, guys. 15 seconds left. 10. Keep driving those knees up for the last five seconds. Three, two, and one. That is it for this round, guys. Take yourself a one minute break, grab some water, rest it up and then we'll start our second round. Right guys, your one minute rest is coming up to an end. And we're gonna move on into the second round of our work. In this work, we are going to do squats, crawlers and the alternating lateral lunges. Again, following the first round, it's 45 seconds per move. We have 15 seconds a little bit in between so we can change into the next one quite nicely. Grab a tiny bit of a breather before pushing ourselves to the next level. So we'll start in a few seconds. So moving on into our second round, we're gonna start with squats in three, two, 
one. So feet shoulder width apart. We're going to sit down and shoot back up, driving up through the heels. Making sure we get a good squeeze up at the top. So we go full leg around workout. Pull nice and tight, shoulders back and down so that you're looking forward. Good. Keep it going, guys. We've got about 15 seconds left. Really sit down and drive up. See if you can get a little bit lower. Good, 10 seconds left. Three, two, one more. One. Excellent. So we've got 15 seconds to set up for our scores. So make sure we're nice and ready. Standing nice and tall, feet shoulder width apart. So three, two, one. So legs. All the way down. And you're gonna walk your hands out, make a nice strong plank, and walk all the way back. Very important to squeeze your core all the way through this loop, making sure that our high plank is good and strong. You guys, keep going. Those hips 
square as you go down and as you walk out. So really squeeze that core. Keep everything stable and strong. Excellent guys, only 15 seconds left. Keep going. Last two. Go on, we got 10. Five seconds left. All the way back. Excellent. Right. Get ready for our alternating lunges. So we'll start those in about five seconds. So three, two, one. So step out to the side. Make sure you really sit back into it. So we're using the bend leg heel. And then really drive up through the heel. Push yourself back up. You guys better be feeling as out of breath as I am. This is tough work. But you gotta keep going. You're gonna feel great afterwards. Down, all the way back up. Core nice and tight. Go on guys, less than 15 seconds left. Nearly there. Go about five seconds left. Go finish one more. Excellent. Right guys, take your one minute rest and then we'll do that set for the final time. final set of the workout so we've got a few seconds left of our rest and then we're going to jump back into it we're really going to push for this final set get it done and dusted and then we'll move into a cool down so we'll start in a few seconds so ready we'll start in three two one so start with body weight squats and sit back down into it Again, driving up through the hills. We know the drill by now. Make sure we get that full range of motion. So sit down as deep as you can. It's gonna work a lot better. You're gonna feel it a lot more. Good guys, keep going. Excellent, less than 15 seconds left. Driving up through those hills. Ooh. Pushing that bum back. Five, four, three, two, one more. And one. 15 seconds to get ready for your sprawlers. So stay nice and tall. Grab a bit of a breather. We're going to start in three, two, one. So bend your knees all the way down. Walk out and back. Keeping that core tight, don't rock the hips. This is a slow controlled move, but you're gonna feel it. Keep going guys, nearly there, so we have about 15 seconds left. Good, 
Okay, keep going. Less than 15 seconds left. Make it count. Nearly there, guys. We've got about five seconds left. Three, two, finish. One. That is it. Right, guys, grab yourself a quick drink of water and we'll go straight into a cool down. Yeah, our body is nice and warm now. So we're gonna try and bring that heart rate back down. We're gonna start by lying on the ground. Oh, nice and flat. You're gonna lift one leg up and twist it over. Get a nice stretch through the spine. Just lie here for a bit. Make sure you're breathing through the stretch. Good, a few more seconds. Three, two, one. So back into the lying position. Now with the other leg, lift up, cross over. Really feel that stretch. This feels so good after a workout. Good, just breathe through it. A few more seconds left. Three, two, one, sit back into position. We're gonna sit up. We're gonna do a seated hamstring stretch. So bring your one leg in, stretch down on the straight leg so you can feel stretch all down the back of your leg. And again, just breathe through it. This is the time to get our heart rate back down. Our muscles are nice and warm, so we're gonna get a really good stretch in. Good, a few more seconds. Three, two, one, we're gonna swap over to the other side. Big stretch. Good, a nice deep stretch. It's really gonna help reduce any injuries, reduce the effects of stiffness, and feel really good. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent, right from here, we're gonna go into a pigeon stretch. So if we roll over, onto a core, um, a strong plank. Bring your one leg in and across and then you're gonna sit back down into it. So you're really gonna get a good stretch in your glute of the leg that's bent and underneath your body. As you can see, my back leg is nice and relaxed. My knee is down and I'm trying to be as square as possible so that I can really feel that good stretch in my glute. Just gonna hold it for a few seconds. Three, two, then you go back up into high plank and swap over to bring your other leg under and then again sit back down into it. Good. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. From here, we're going to go into a high plank, step one leg forward so that it's close to your palm, so you're really going to get a good hip flexor stretch. So really sit into it and feel it on the straight leg. Hold it for a few seconds. Three, two, one. Bring the leg back, try to the leg up and sit into it. So we're really gonna feel it in your hip flexor here, front of your thigh. A few more seconds. Breathe through it. Three, two, one. Thank you guys for joining us today on our energy and endurance workout. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, don't forget to take a snippet of your workout and post it online tagging GDN Fitness and that will redeem your workout point. Join us tomorrow with Luke who's got a full body mobility routine that's going to help loosen you up and make you feel a lot better. See you guys soon.